Okay, so I've done a ton of shit since last video. I have a tool that I can chop down trees with. Look at this. I'm chopping down the trees and you see in the top left corner it says exactly what I picked up and I'm gonna show you. That is the items that I can pick up. This is wood and as I walk close it gets sucked into me. Down here we have this guy that guards this mine. I cannot get in here because uh, the mine is not finished. The uh, dialogue system has been updated as well. He will not let me get in. His brother, however, is over here. Right here in the market. Look at that, the market area just got discovered. The pickaxe sign, here he is. I can talk to him. He says a lot of shit. And he's supposed to sell stuff here uh, on this table, which on this table we have some stuff, uh, which is the same thing over and over again. But it's a planter, costs 20 wood, you have 56 wood. I can press to buy that and then I get this ghost thing that I can rotate with the mouse buttons and I can place it down. Not on the wall because it's too steep and not over there because it's too far away from me. I have to walk closer to place it here. There's no feedback when placing it because this is very much work in progress. It's what I'm working on right now. I can not do anything with the planter yet. I have nothing to plant but I can hold E to edit and then I pick it up again and I can put it somewhere else maybe right here. I can afford another one, so right here I can actually place them inside of each other like that, even though it looks kind of ugly, and I can place them inside of the wall like so. Uh, I don't know if I will change that functionality, because I mean every time I'm gonna build some settlements in Fallout, the first mod I download is the one that makes it so that I can clip into other things so I can buy, uh, so I can, what am I saying, so I can build a nice settlement. So I don't know if it's worth changing so I can't put them too close together because I think that would just end up being frustrating if you were to build uh, a lot. So this is the shop system. I can't afford anything right now, but that's how it works. It looks very cool when you pick it up again, I think. And over here, we have the third NPC over here. He is behind this bridge and the bridge is broken. So what do we do? Let's see, can't afford, cost 50 wood. You have 16 wood. Okay, I will chop down some trees. Oh, and you see this meter down in the bottom right? That is the energy I have for using my tools like chopping down trees and destroying stones, which I can't do yet. When that energy runs out, I'm gonna have to go over to this little hut that is my home and I'm gonna have to charge up because in this game you play as a robot and robots don't lie down in a bed and sleep I think so instead of lying down in a bed and sleeping to get to the next day you go and you charge up to charge up your energy so you can keep on chopping down trees okay I think I have enough wood let's check it out can't afford oh my god 49 here we go E build bridge poof that's how you build a bridge. Now I can talk to this guy. Forest area discovered. What do you have to say? Hi. He likes this forest. He's gonna keep standing there and dancing and not doing anything. And in here we have some bigger trees. Look at this tree. I can chop this tree down as well. And it will give me a shit ton of wood. And then I have some uh, pine trees as well. I'm gonna make it so that they drop another type of wood, but right now they drop the same type. But that's basically everything I've changed since last devlog. And I made this whole market area as well, which looks really cool. And uh, most of it is off limits thanks to this stone wall, but whatever. That's it. Goodbye. <laughs>